I did the LND module because I wanted a head of LND role. And uh, when you look at individuals, you know, who I aspired to, people whose jobs I wanted or I wanted to work in careers like those, uh, I would necessarily see the level seven CIPD cropping up time and time again. So it made sense to me that that should be the qualification I should pursue to drive my career forward. My role now is dealing with clients uh, in an L&D space. Uh, so I do L&D consultancy. I have about 80 clients uh, from uh, all the way from very small uh, startups all the way to very, very large multinational and global organisations. And they all seem to be facing relatively similar issues, uh, installing learning cultures, enacting change, uh, and, and, and making sure that their staff uh, take on responsibility for their own L&D, their own learning development. So ownership of your own personal learning development is a big, is a big thing that I'm working on. Uh, and so the challenges, I guess, across the board seem to be change management of that process, supporting organisations and employees in changing their mindsets. So the impact on my career has been enormous. It's uh, hugely influential to have the COPD Level 7 on your CV. Um, and I did it because I wanted to move into a head of stroke manager role. Um, I've actually moved into a consultancy role, so I have changed careers in the, in the, in the year that's passed since I did the qualification uh, for better, for much, much better. And I would put almost all of that change down to having, done, having completed this qualification. It's made an enormous impact on my career. Particular skills I've picked up from the course that have benefited my career, um, given that I'm now in a consultancy role dealing uh, with L&D professionals on a, on a daily, weekly basis, things that have made a real um, huge impact are the conversations around return on investment and the conversations around uh, evaluation. So this course looks at holistically the whole process of L&D from designing to delivering, uh, evaluating the whole, the whole training cycle and it's that last part that makes a big difference to my clients. So I feel now empowered to have those conversations, lead those conversations and, and really make a difference with my clients. So key takeaways for me from the, uh, the overall learning experience have been uh, the networking opportunities with the other students. They, it wasn't just an opportunity, opportunity for me to find out who they were and who they worked for. I've actually sustained those uh, relationships long term. So it's a year now since I did my qualification and I'm still in contact with quite a few of them. Uh, and also I'm still in contact with the lead tutor. Uh, he's, I now would consider him a friend, I don't know if he'd say the same, uh, but we, uh, we have a great relationship and he, and he helps me, he coaches me and he, and he does that because we're both L&D professionals. Um, it was also really, really helpful to watch other people train. So, you know, you don't ever get another opportunity to watch 11, 12, however many people are on your, on your session, uh, deliver training and be able to take, uh, take pieces away. Um, so it was, it was excellent to be, um, to be in an environment with other trainers was extremely helpful. I wanted to just um, embrace myself in that environment and I didn't really see how I could do that in personally on a week by week basis or a month by month basis. I really, really wanted to have that week long immersive experience. Um, it really appealed to me that I would get it done very, very quickly. I really like that idea as well. And with no loss of quality. Um, and also I really, um, I, was, I had concerns that I wouldn't get the necessary support from the, from the lead tutors or from the CIPD, but it absolutely wasn't the case. So we're really, really helpful throughout the whole process. So tips I'd give students who are thinking about embarking on this particular qualification is um, work really hard because uh, you'll get more out of it. The harder you work, the more you'll get out of it. Uh, really embrace uh, the networking opportunities uh, and keep in contact with your fellow students. I have and I have some great relationships at the back of that. Um, and also um, just consider that there's going to be presentations, there's going to be a, an assessment, there's going to be a written assessment. Um, none of that should come as a surprise and sh you should be well prepared for that. Uh, and if you are, you'll really enjoy it. Don't, don't 
It shouldn't be a stressful experience, it should be an enjoyable experience and your preparation is key in that.